ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಸೇರಿ ಆಚೆಗ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಚಡ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ನಾವು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೋಷಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ right let's see that ideas of uh, development in this session we will study that what is meant by ideas of development and we see that what development promises for uh, different people and how it will be defined what is uh, development apala so here development how it is defined when we comes to development we think many issues development involves essential things which is uh, needed for all and some people it is it also development also involves better life for all it also involves aspirations about uh, life and equality of life all these are part of the development so defining development is not an easy thing development involves thinking about many issues some what i mentioned here to understand the development and to define it we will move with some examples right what that will be look at here it is uh, one person who is a landless uh, rural labor is a developmental goal is more days of work and better wages dear students he is a labor who does not have any land and what would be his aspiration that is goal he want a number of days work and the wages should be given in a proper way and that should be fair wages as for the work the way wages should be given that is called better wages so that is is a developmental goal right now coming to another person we see here prosperous farmer what is meant by prosperous farmer a farmer who have vast fields and he can able to provide everything for his fields he has irrigation facilities also a prosperous farmer wants higher income it means that uh, he want to get good price for his crops at the same time he want uh, his workers to work at a uh, cheap wages so his goal is high income for his crops and cheap labors for his uh, work that is is a developmental goal let's see another one here is a farmer and this farmer depends only on rains he is not like a prosperous farmer he cannot provide uh, irrigation to his uh, land so that he depends on rains so what is his aspiration what is his goal his goal is that good rains if rains are good then he can able to cultivate his uh, crop so that is his developmental goal next moving to a rural woman from land owning family and her goal is that uh, her children should develop very well and there should be good income for uh, her family that is her goal right 
Next, moving to an urban unemployed youth. Many people in urban area we find that with unemployment. So, what might be his goal? What might be his development? He thinks that he should get a good job and that job should do sufficient income. That means it is a goal of a, an unemployed youth. Next, we see here an Adivasi from mining. And his goal is that his children should get a good education and he his children should get a good education. That is a, his goal. That is Adivasi. Then next, another appeal. Here we see that a fisherman. His goal is that to catch good fish and with that he want a good income. So this is the goal of the fisherman. Whereas Adivasi goal is different. Next, we see that in all these uh, examples, that is here is a landless ru rural labor and here is a prosperous farmer. The goal of a landless rural labor is different with the goal of a prosperous farmer and this person goal is different with uh, a person who depends, a farmer who depends on rains. And these three people's goal is different with uh, a person who is living in urban area and searching for the job. So what development is here? The development involves many issues. First thing, and it is different for different people. That means the life situations. Here if you see that he is a landless a rural labor and he is a prosperous farmer. His life is entirely different uh, with uh, landless uh, rural labor, right? Similarly, we see that uh, urban unemployed youth, his life is uh, different uh, with uh, a featured man. So, the development is different for different people. It is not same to all the people. So, development involves not only income there is many issues in the first one we have seen what is development here the development involves essential things and better life for all and all the aspirations of the people have to be filled there should be equality of life when people work in different uh, sectors so with this we can say that uh, development is a uh, complex task and all the persons do not have the same notion same notion in the sense same concept of a uh, development it varies from one person to another person right to understand it clearly we'll see that uh, one more example so development is different for different people right and it does not matches with one person to another person because the life situations of the people are different, right? The next, uh, we see that what is a development uh, for a nation, right? When it comes to the nation, similarly, the development uh, involves different things. We have started our journey 12,000 years ago as an agriculturist. At that time, the developmental goal of the people who involved in agriculture is to produce crop that is a goal that is a developmental goal later 400 years ago we started uh, industries the goal of the industrialist is different with the goal of the farmers right the industries and industrialists want to produce many more goods so that is a goal that that is developmental goal of the industrialist and whereas 12,000 years ago the developmental goal of the people was to produce food that is agriculture so the development changes as per the situation as per the time right so it is uh, uh, says that uh, it involves many issues let's see that uh, 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 one more example uh, up to now we have seen that uh, 
development is a complex task first point and second point is that uh, different people have different uh, developmental goals second point and third point we have seen that the life situations of the people are different so they have different developmental goals right and fourth point we have seen that uh, development involves many issues it depends on the thinking of the people let us see that one more important point which is involved in the process of development here is one issue this is from the textbook here you see that it is a one nuclear power plant this power plant is udan kulam nuclear power plant the government decided to construct udan kulam nuclear power plant in tirunelli district of tamil nadu here it is uh, what you call uh, in uh, tamil nadu uh, it is there right so government want to meet uh, the growing energy needs of the industrialists many of the industries are not getting sufficient power so in order to meet their needs the government want to establish a nuclear power plant at kudankulam so where is this uh, nuclear power plant uh, right i'll show you that it is uh, tamil nadu southern part of the india and here it is kudankulam atomic power plant it is the location it will be asked in the map pointing my dear students one question will be map pointing that uh, asking you to identify kudam kulam nuclear power plant and near to kanyakumari you will find that uh, this one this is the location of a kudam kulam atomic power plant this is in tirunelli district uh, this is the tirunelli district it is a tamil nadu region in tamil nadu state in tamil nadu state at tirunelli district uh, there is a kudam kulam power plant so government decided to construct this so why the government decided to construct it because to meet the growing energy needs of the what industrialist right then what is the area this is a coastal area i have shown here right see the kudankulam atomic power plant where it is it is a coastal area right so people who are living in the coastal area their livelihood is catching fish am i right okay so it is many of the people depending on catching fish and they are getting fish at that coastal area so what do they do if the nuclear power plant is going to be constructed there these fisher folks have to be evicted they have to be replaced from that area to another area so they thought that their livelihood is disrupted their livelihood is disrupted and destroyed so do they agree for this the construction of the nuclear power plant no not at all then they started a protest against construction of the nuclear power plant because which is disturbing their idea of development that is their livelihood you could see that the people who are protesting here they says that stop kudan kulam atomic power plant then who are all these people these are all the people who depend for their livelihood on catching fish fisher folks right and the construction of a nuclear power plant also not uh, uh, good for environment many scientists and environmentalist they have announced that it is not at all safe for the environment but the government decided to meet the growing energy needs of the industrialist so it want to construct this one and this is opposed by the people in this example we see that there are two developmental goals of two groups one group is industrialist second group is that the fisher folk so if nuclear power plant is allowed to construct to establish 
then it disturbs the developmental goal of the fisher frogs who are depending on catching fish right then if this project is not constructed that is nuclear power plant is not constructed then it would not be able to uh, get uh, uh, what you call energy sufficient for the growing industries right so the developmental goals are conflicted here what in by conflicted one person or one group of people developmental goal is disturbed with another group of people's developmental goal here we see that the livelihood of the fisher folk huh? here are many people in this figure you can see that many of the people in the coastal area opposing the construction of nuclear power plant so it is against what their livelihood so they are not allowing though there is a severe protest the government decided to construct this nuclear power plant so here these people have lost their livelihoods right and another example we'll see here uh, what it is who here uh, in this uh, protest movement the people who participated are scientists environmentalists social activists fisher folks why did they participate in protest against the nuclear power plant because there is no safety to the people who are living there and it is not secure for the people and disturbing the livelihood we have many examples recently also we have seen during this covid 19 session we have seen in vishakapatnam a gas leakage so the people who are living nearby that uh, industry in vishakapatnam the, due to that a gas leakage many people suffered some die right in the past also there is uh, one incident uh, happened in india which is the uh, largest industrial destruction that is in uh, madhya pradesh in madhya pradesh at bhopal bhopal gas tragedy this was studied again in chapter 21 so there the gas tragedy in a uh, bhopal has taken the lives of uh, many thousands of the people and it is also one uh, example i want to share with you that is in russia there is a chernobyl nuclear power plant that is also what uh, taken the life of many people and in japan fukushima which is a nuclear power plant that it also in the past taken many lives so people have protested scientists then environmentalists also joined with them as it is not at all good to the environment so here we see that the developmental goals of the two people are different two group of the people are different right one more is there that is in africa a one multinational company Hmm? producing uh, different uh, goods uh, want to dump uh, its uh, liquid toxic waste material so it uh, want a place to dump the waste material so it uh, had an agreement with uh, one african country that is ivory coast you can identify the location of ivory coast here there is uh, a city called abidjan so in that city with the local government a multinational company has gone with an agreement for dumping its a liquid toxic waste near about 500 tons of liquid toxic waste it dumped in the coast of abidjan so what happened that one that have happened like this you will you have here a picture you can see here this is a liquid toxic waste material right they have not followed the safety norms due to this dumping dumped waste material taken the 
lives of many people and it has an impact on health part health pattern here i'll show you that uh, this led to nausea skin rashes fainting and diarrhea many people suffered with uh, health problems right here uh, a picture i shared here you see that these are the african people my dear students you could see that uh, some children are suffering with skin rashes right so these people have not benefited at all with uh, that multinational company and the multinational company has benefited in dumping its uh, waste material right so what do we see here this the development is not at all fair what in by fair development once we plan for a developmental method it should be development for all the people but here we find some of the people have benefited and some other people have not benefited in this example the local people in ivory coast that is at abidjan they suffered with health problems right and such people suffer with health problems they have not received any benefit and compensation from the government whereas a multinational company has benefited right so here the developmental goal of that multinational company conflicted with the developmental goal of this local people right and coming to back to the this issue what you call the construction of a nuclear power plant here also we see that the developmental goal of the industrialist conflicted with the developmental goal of the fisher plant so what is the main point we derived from the given example is the developmental goals are conflicted one right here to make you clear understand that uh, recently we have seen that uh, the government decided to construct many more dams telangana government have decided to construct many more projects so what is needed for uh, constructing the projects vast land so many people have lost their lands in the project government have given the fair compensation if the fair compensation is not given that led to conflict here right we have seen that some farmers committing suicide and some farmers have gone for what protest against the government that in the paper cutouts we have seen right so all these things see that what is the development for one person may not be the development for another person right it uh, may be it 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 is it's not maybe it is destructive uh, for the what another uh, group of uh, people right so we have derived many points huh? uh, just we go for what a recapitulation one is development involves many issues that we have seen second is the development is different for different people that we have seen and third point we have seen that uh, development depends on the life situations of the people right and fourth point we have seen the developmental goals are conflicted one right so development is a, a complex a task next we'll move to that uh, what is uh, needed for development how do you assess the people who are living around you when you go through your streets you will see that number of buildings then how do you decide that people who are developed and who are not developed generally the people go through the what eh? income if there is good income to the people we says that eh, these people are developed right by looking to their building by looking to their their uh, things what they maintain the articles which are there in their home will see that their position right so that is income i want to give one uh, 
important point here. So in the above examples, we have seen that that the people have not benefited some people, and some of the people have not. Eh? Uh, some people have not benefited and some other people have benefited, right? So here it says that uh, develop, uh, different positions have different developmental goals. Well, development for one, it means what is development for one may not be development for other and it may be destructive for one, right? So let us see that what is how to calculate uh, development. How do we measure development? What is the criteria actually required here? to decide development, right? Look at this picture, my dear students. You will find here a retired person. What is needed to him? Reliable pension, right? And one agriculture uh, labor, that is a, a woman labor. What she want uh, equal wages, right? And another person who is uh, working uh, he needs what uh, work near the family, right? In all these things, uh, what do we see that uh, that income, right? And in the above examples also, what we have seen here uh, in all these uh, landless rural, then landless rural labor, prosperous uh, farmer, then a farmer depending on range uh, a woman then uh, urban unemployed uh, youth uh, adivasi from mining then fisher folk uh, all these need uh, a better income right let me all the people want uh, good income so income is one important uh, point here that uh, tells how the people are developed one so people want a better income for their development so do you think that is it only the income enough for uh, their development for some time we consider that uh, development involves only income so how it is wrong we'll see in the further uh, class right now uh, here you can see that uh, there is a needed other criterions see we see many people working in different fields am i right and some women also working uh, in different sectors but many of the women are not working outside like men. So why they are not working uh, outside like men? Because there is no respect to them, right? Suppose if you take a company, we find there people working in different uh, positions, managers, production managers, clerks, laborers, like this so every person want that a good respect from his fellow worker but we see that it is not received by them so some people feel that as there is no self respect or there is no respect from others though the income is good sufficient that is high income he may not work there because of a respect, right? Sometimes we see that a job may be offering good income, but it is very far from the home, right? Suppose person, for example, take a, a person, Raju. Huh? He has got uh, two jobs, for example. One is far from his home which is offering a good uh, wages, good good salary that is near about, for example, 40,000 like that. And another job is offering just 15 to 20,000 that is near to him. So what might be the response of Raju in these two positions? It depends on his way of thinking. 
Suppose if Raju thinks that whatever it may be, that income is very important, then he will go for working far from his home, which is some 40,000, 50,000 for a month. Or if he thinks that uh, income is not uh, enough, there is need of uh, freedom and security and respect from others, then there will be satisfaction where he works. So he feels that the 15,000 or 20,000 per month, which is near to home, he will choose that one. So what made him to choose that one? That is his way of thinking. That means it's not the only income decides the person's development, right? So that we are going to see here, right? So here, there is some other criterions also essential along with uh, income. What are that uh, equal treatment, uh, freedom, security, respect from others, and there should not be discrimination. These are all also important. So whether it is a uh, income is uh, more important than these other criterions or these other criterions are important depends on his uh, situation. So income itself is not enough to decide the development. If it is the only income, we find that many people, many women working outside. Most of the women have a good eligibility and good skills, but they are not ready to work outside because there is insecurity, ill respect in the working place so that they are not coming. That means they are not preferring the income. They want something satisfaction in the job. That may be the freedom, that may be the security, that may be what the respect from others, that may be what you call uh, dis uh, to end the discrimination. So development is not only income, it involves many other goals. So what, how can we define this development? It is mixture of goals. Development is a mixture of goals, right? So let us see that how it is a mixture of goals. Next, uh, we see here, uh, when we come to that, uh, if uh, income only that important, then for a person it is income. When come to a nation, then how do we decide the development here? Yeah. Huh? That is income. Actually, income is not uh, enough. But how it is not enough to decide the development, we are going to see that, right? So when we come to the income is one criteria which decides the development, then how will be the income of a nation? What is mean by income of a nation? It is nothing but a national income. Income of all the residents who are living in the nation, in a country, right? All the people's income of a country is called a total income or national income, right? Now for time being, we are uh, taking that it is income only one criteria for development. My dear students, I am not concluding that point. Here I am saying that to make you clear understand, income is not enough. But how it is not enough and what other things are required, we will see with some example. Before that, just to assume that income only the main criteria. Because generally the people will assess the people, uh, many people will go on assessing the surrounding people with the income only. Those who have good income, those are developed one. Those who do not have good income, those are underdevelopment. This is a general assessment we see in the public, right? So if you apply the same thing to the nation that if a nation is earning good income, that is a developed nation. If a nation is not earning good income, it is not a developed, that is an underdeveloped one, based on a income. That means, what is the criteria we have taken here for deciding the development income, right? Income is one criteria for development. So what is the income of nation? It is the income of all the individuals, right? So what happens if you take income as a criteria for the development, right? There are some problems in that one. Huh? I'll show you that. See, uh, 
uh, how the income is uh, not at all good because here you will see that uh, uh, what you call if income only the main criteria of development from my side a question to you that do all the nations have the same population no population varies from one country to another country right so where the people are more in number that nation will give high income if the population is uh, less compared to highly populated country then that nation will be least in a development it means that uh, if you take the total income it will not give the right uh, what you call a uh, measurement we cannot uh, say that it is the right criteria why it is not right criteria will come to one simple example which we have that is if you take a class of your suppose your class strength is 50 that is 10th lotus yeah? if i ask you to collect 10 rupees each what will happen what will be the income 50 into 10 find suppose 10th b is there in that uh, 30 cent is there what will be the income 300 right then how can we say that uh, this 10th lotus has given more money than the 10th uh, jasmine or 10th uh, b because the number of persons in the class is different similarly the nations do not have the same population when population varies from one country to another country how can we take income as a criteria for development so that it is not at all suitable criteria some other criterions are required so please uh, I'll conclude that income is not uh, enough. It is needed, but it is not the whole criteria for measuring the development. How it is not the whole criteria, we'll see in the next class. Till then, I request all of you to read the textbook and say for your friends who are not attending the online classes, make them to uh, attend the no online classes because we have to move forward this is a covid time during the covid time we have to come over so that we have to attend it you have to attend the one another classes thank you thank you very much screen recording